everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and you're tuned in to Madden 18 on EA Sports. Opening week in the NFL is an exciting time for everybody, including these two teams here today. It's the Bengals going up against the Broncos. Larry, we are at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, as you get a look at Sports Authority Field at Mile High. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Denver Broncos. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels, you know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. First down, Wilson throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, they're slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. The Bengals bring out their punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. catch the rack yardage that puts your defense in a big time stressful position a lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play this is taken about seven yards deep and he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line Cincinnati now ready to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football appeal to the vanity of your offensive line tell them that they control your fate Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. 
And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now a play fake here on first down. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Broncos. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. They make so many catches that are so tough, so acrobatic, so difficult. It often surprises me when they actually turn the ball over. You know, when the ball actually comes free. It's amazing sometimes because of what we see them do on so many different plays. Had the catch, but couldn't control it on the contact. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they're going to face a third down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Come on, let's go. One, nine. One, nine. Here comes the D swarming to the line. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there, wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. And Parkey's kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So they recover the fumble but could not take advantage of the short field. They do get three. And no one ever turns down three points going up on the board. But the offense will go to the sidelines wondering what if, while the defense on the other side, they'll celebrate holding them to just a field goal after giving up such bad field position. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bengals getting set to go. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. Throwing is Wilson. Going to throw right side here, complete. That one goes for 36 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down. A gain of three, second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now Wilson on second down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he comes back with one complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And the play clock's running down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. On second down, here's Wilson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Darian Thompson. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. So a pretty early first quarter roughing the passer penalty. Seems like the officials are going to let everyone know they're taking charge of this game. They're always going to protect the quarterback. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And that was a nice play by the defense. And it is tough to be an offensive lineman nowadays, especially if you're dealing with how the defensive tackles have evolved. Their quickness, their agility, their speed has changed the big guys in the middle, the center and the offensive guards. Formerly, they were just power players. Now they have to be light on their feet as well to keep up with the speed of the defensive players. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Brock. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Here we go. And some extras coming up on the line here, letting for the blitz. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for. And that'll make it third down. I know the initial focus was on how far that pass was downfield, but how about the coverage on the play? Able to stay with him, get his hands where the receiver's hands were going to try and catch the ball, tips it up in the air, and knocks it away. Out of the gun, Dobbs. Flushed out right. Open man is Henderson. That's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Let's go! One, nine! From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. It makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. knocked out wow that ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover C.J. Anderson of the game he gets it here 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down At this stage of the game the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air 
But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. is throwing. And he will score. Touchdown, Denver. Joshua Dobbs already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. He didn't originally want to run, but he didn't see anything in the passing game, so he scrambled. And wouldn't you know it, he scores a touchdown anyway. It's awfully nice to have a quarterback who can make things happen with his legs. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. 12 yards that time and it's Cincinnati first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And yeah, this is gonna be caught. He won the fight for the football. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Cody Core, 61 yards. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. And he knocks it through. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. The decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. So the Broncos coming out now. And they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. The field goal probably feels like a disappointment. Here we go! On first and ten, Dobbs. And Dobbs is going to be swallowed up as he'll go down. And when a free safety goes like he did there, he better be sure he's going to be able to make a play. Oh, there's no doubt about it because I have a feeling that the defensive coordinator and head coach are on the sideline screaming, no, 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 good play. Yeah, good, good job, play. buddy. Ohio, flex round, flex round. Let's go. Brian 38. On play action, it's Dobbs. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Denver first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Let's go! One, Kyle Rudolph, the tight end in motion. now on second down. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Yannick Ngakwe in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Two minutes to go here in the first half. 
back to Denver right after this. And on third and 15, we see the dime look, six DBs on the field. Playing pass all the way. Dobbs. Flush to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. They'll run it now, out of the gun. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. Second down, Dobbs. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The Broncos on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Let's go! Ah! On play action, they'll throw. And he can't quite intercept it. Zone coverage, free safety was there. Couldn't come up with it, and now it's fourth down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. And tough starting field position here. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Going right side here, and that's complete. 23 yards on the play. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Now the offense lining up first and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. He's going to air one out. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. Second and ten now, Wilson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there at 20 yards. Now Wilson on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. 23 yards on the play. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Right. 
And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Now it's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Now the Bengals will settle for three as the field goal unit comes on here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. The final shot here before break. Smith. And all the gamble fails. It's incomplete. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. Well, that was a long attempt to begin with, so the fake you might have known was somewhat of a possibility. Credit to the defense, though. They weren't fooled. You're right. They weren't fooled. And they were in a position of having to play both ways. Guard for the fake, but you still want to rush the kicker yeah, because it was a makeable kick. So they ended up getting the best out of the whole thing. Stumped the fake, and they take over the ball. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. All right. We will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And to no one's surprise here in Denver, that'll carry through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Broncos' offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. The play fake. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit two for four thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Let's go! To throw is down. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. 
Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it. Rest of the game. And it does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tackle. And the defenders know it, too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football. You know what the rule is. First guy hold up the runner. Everyone else try and get there and strip the ball free. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And here comes play number six on this drive. handoff as they run the counter play and he's got this one down to the 10 and just what you want on a first down run call it eight yards and it's second and two sometimes with the running game you've just got to stick with it look it's the third quarter no time to panic but that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays but stay with the overall essence of the running game just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. Back to throw Dobbs. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there. 73 yards. And the Bengals are able to draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Here we go! They go play action here on first down. All incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense. That that fell harmlessly to the ground. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Going to let it fly for Rudolph. And he almost had it defensively. 
Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Now Dobbs. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. Give him 30 yards there. Fresh set of downs here. Now Wilson operating from the gun. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Cody Core already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bengals have got it back to a one-score game. And his kick is right through. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession. That was punt the football because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you'd think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Back to the ground. This time it's Anderson. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. You got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Come on, let's go! What done? From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Over the middle here to Rudolph. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Come on, let's go! On first down, Dobbs to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. Welcome back now to Denver. So the offense readies for a second and four. Throwing here, Dobbs. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henderson. And he'll be out of bounds. 
Jones able to take it down to the 40. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Come on, let's go! They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They'll run it now out of the gun. Looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on, let's go! Run. Here's Dobbs to throw. A yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Khalil Mack in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here we go. Let's go. Flex round. Flex round. Ohio. Ohio. Out of the gun. Dobbs. This throw caught right around the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. A long drive here. Play 12 coming up for the offense. Let's go! They'll run. Anderson. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Oh, Brandon, I'm going to tell you, this is football time to me. They're inside the 10-yard line. That's like drawing the line in the sand. Who's going to make the stand here? Defensive guys, they know if he gets in the end zone, this ball game is over. And the guys with the football right now, they think let's just pound it in there. Got to hold him to three to keep this a one-score game. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. The wide receiver moving to a new spot. Now Dobbs. His pass caught at the four. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. 
It'll wind up being a loss of two. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here we go, a big play in a tight game late. They're going on fourth and goal. Here we go, Ohio, Ohio. Ohio, Ohio. Here's Dobbs to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to solve this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt-away-the-game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run-pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 23 yards on the play. Now Wilson, going right side here, and that's complete. And he's brought down. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover it? And this is taken in at the five. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Cody Core with now three week one touchdowns. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And the Broncos are going to get the football. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's Anderson as they begin this series on the ground. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. on the play back at the 37-yard line. The Broncos on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and 16. Ohio, Ohio. Let's go. On play action, it's Dobbs. And look at this. 
Jets. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. You got the slim lead late and the football, so why are you throwing it there? Remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches, you know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trust in his quarterback and trust in his offense. But still. And then at the end, he kind of ran. Yeah, not really a good reason. Right. <laughs> and he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to bow up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. He'll look to throw. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. They'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Room here to run. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 30-yard line. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. So the offense has it first and 10. He pulls it in. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. The incredible comeback nearly complete. A chance to go ahead here on first and goal. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken about the 12. And now running right through it. So some drama down at the very end of this ball game, Charles, on that final kickoff. They were open to break free. Some sort of miracle play, but they couldn't do it. They had a chance, and that was their only opportunity to try and bring it all the way back. As you noted, they weren't able to get that done. But at least they had the shot. What a tremendous game to be this close and this well contested. So for the Bengals, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll return home next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Denver, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL 
on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver.